so much going on at the same time. It's a little bit like taming the lion, I guess. You know. The challenge came about principally because we've supported Rory and his Celtic Speed team for the last three years. You know, we've had the odd discussion at the odd race meeting about uh, my job, his job, the differences. Um, and at some point there was a gauntlet thrown down, you know, could he do my job, could I do his? Uh, sort of rolled out from there really. Uh, his job's probably a bit more exciting than mine. Um, <laughs> but there you go. First of all, I, I kind of took a little think and I was like, okay, I'm going to become a chef for a day and we're going to get Terence up into the, the Porsche and I've got to sit as a passenger. So it was quite interesting, quite scary thoughts on both sides. The getting strapped in process, oh. the, 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 the anticipation's building, you can feel it. I think I'm yelling at I, this is serious. And when you're getting lectured about how tight the straps have got to be, Exhilarating. Being a ra racer is inevitably exhilarating. Uh, I found the car quite brutal. The noise, the vibration, it feels almost primitive. It's hot, it's steamy, a bit kitchen like in that respect. Yeah, he certainly impressed me. I just hope that I can do the same today. <laughs> For all, it's easy to assume that the role of the race car driver is a solo role. He needs to spend a lot of time testing, a lot of time with his teammates, which suggests to me that he's got to be a team player, you know. Even though he's probably an individual out there on the track, there is a team ethic in there. And that's pretty much what kitchens are all about. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite nervous and I'm kind of worried about getting in the way, really. I think the pressures, I'm having to deal with it differently. So I'm trying to use some of the techniques I use to control my nerves in the race car. They don't seem to be working, so I'm going to have to find a new technique. I found the whole experience pretty tough. There's so much going on at the same time. I think there's you know, a lot of people around me that kind of knew what they were doing. I have no idea. And it probably took me about an hour to get my head around what, what was going on, but... All I know is I've just got to cook it and then put it in the oven and then it goes over to here. It's physically demanding because it's it's a long day, there's a lot of movement here up and down and, and back and forwards. But at the same time you're, you're challenged mentally and you know, yeah. just try and nail what, what you've got to do when you've got to do it. After tonight's experience, so I think I've got the right profession, a racing driver, um, gives me a buzz. But, you know, I've got a buzz tonight as well. And it's, a, it's a fun job, I think it's a tough job. I think the hours that these guys put in, the pressure they're under and the heat. From what I've heard from the rest of the guys, it seems like if at the end of the night when you look back and you think, you know what, that ran really smoothly. And I think yeah. the product that we put out was, was good. And that's where the, the buzz comes from. So I guess the outcome is pretty much what we, we, we both guessed. Uh, there's a mutual respect, I think. We, we, we each have a tough job to do, tough in, in, in different ways. But as I say, you know, honour on on and dignity prevails. I think the hard part would be doing it every single night. I've done it for one evening and I want to go to bed. My hands are all burnt, I'm really sore, and uh, my concentration levels are dipped nice. So.